There are many ways to access Google Drive files and one of them is to access them like uh, you access files in an FTP server. So for that, you can go to raydrive.com. So this is uh, one of the example softwares that I'm going to use. So this is raydrive, R-A-I-D-R-I-V-E.com right here to download the software. And I'm going to hit download right here. And then I am going to choose a server that I want to download the file from and then just click on download now. So let me just download the file right here, just like that. So let's go through the process right here. And then I'm just going to click to start manually right here. So Raid Vibe starts downloading in my computer. So there are a lot of uh, applications which support accessing files in Google Drive. But over here, I'm going to use Raid Drive because this is the one that I use and which I like as well. So I'm just going to forward this part as it completes uh, finishing downloading. And here it has completed downloading this like this. So I'm just going to open up the installer and install the application. I'm just going to go around right here. All right. So let's just go around, install the application right there. So uh, I've already uh, installed Redrive in my computer. That's why it's actually asking me if I want to repair or remove. So I'm just going to close this out. But you get the idea like you have to install this uh, software out in order to start using it. So once you complete it, you can just go on on to I'm just going to quit the installation right here. Once you install it, you can access Redrive from here or from your start menu and then open it out like any other application first. So once you do that, uh, what you can do is it gives you like uh, a guideline right here. So I'm just going to add in Google Drive. You can also add in other cloud services. But over here, we, uh, we're going to choose Google Drive over here and we can assign it um, um, a drive letter. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to assign drive, let's say drive T just like that. And this is going to be Google Drive right here. So once I do that and press OK, you can see that it says Google Drive is here just like that. And uh, it prompts me to sign in. So I'm just going to go around on to uh, my second channel right here, which is what I'm logged in with at the moment. So I'm just going to sign it in and it asks me if I want Redrive to see access and edit my files in Google Drive. I'm just going to allow that out and click on allow again. So once I do that, Redrive has been connected with Google Drive. And what happens is that it'll start uh, connecting just like this. And now you can see that Google Drive has uh, been assigned as a drive T on my computer right here. And I can use it as any other drive. It's just a bit slower because um, I get not a bit, but a lot slower because it's uh, uh, it works like an FTP server and then everything is in cloud, but you can access the file. So you can double click to view the files just like this. And none of them are stored natively on your computer. So you can just go over here and you can see right here, like all of the files that I actually made are here and I can access it right then and there, just like that. I can go over here and create a new uh, file right over here in Google Drive as an FTP server. So it does not go through the process of actually um, syncing what each and every individual file onto the server. And that is how you can access Google Drive like an FTP server with Ray Drive. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.